Where you are now, somebody is praying to be. Okay, we're back in the truck, y'all. I am back with another video. I'll tell you guys about comparison is the thief of joy. And this is a this is a very important thing. Every man should learn. Every person should learn. But more importantly, men should learn this for sure. This will take away your joy because every time you accomplish something. You will look at another person and say, I wish I could be here. I wish I could be here. I wish I could have this. I wish I could have this. And it leads you to covet what people want. Basically, it, it leads you to like hate what you have now, you know what I'm saying, to where you don't appreciate it. And I want you guys to understand that you have to appreciate everything that you have now because you got to think about it. Where you are now was a place probably where you prayed to be. You know what I mean? Whether it be like you prayed to feel better, you prayed to make more money, you know, you pray for more confidence, more strength. You know what I mean? It's like stuff that you pray for. It's like when you constantly compare yourself, when you constantly are looking to the next man, you don't enjoy what you have. Like you really, really, really don't enjoy what you have. You know what I mean? Uh, this happened to me actually a while ago. Like just to get personal with y'all, like this happened to me a while ago to where it was like, um, I noticed like when I ended up getting, I got my challenger. I had my YouTube, you know what I'm saying? I had my YouTube and I had my challenger, you know what I mean? And I used to work at a warehouse or whatever like that. I used to be in a warehouse. It's craziness. I might have more story times on that, but it's craziness. But I just noticed that like when I did get a new car or, you know what I'm saying? When I had the car, it was just that I noticed that people weren't really too happy for me when I had the uh, challenger. And also, too, it was like a lot of times people were comparing their cars to mine. And it was just like, it was so surprising because I was just so thankful and so happy to have that car. And people were so, they felt away because it's like they were comparing their cars. Their cars may have been like maybe older or it may not have been a two-seater, two-door. But it was like people really started to like look down on what they had. I'm just like, man, like really don't do that. Don't never do that because... Like, although it was a challenger, yes, it was nice, you know, paint, everything. But it was just that, that didn't mean that I was happy just because I had that car. Like, that didn't mean that everything just miraculously worked out for me, that I was just extremely successful or that I just had everything figured out. You know what I'm saying? I still had things I was dealing with. On top of that, I had, like, a payment. And it was just, like, I just hated when people would say that, like, oh, man, you know, see, we riding bad. Oh, my car is my car is not as good. You know what I mean, or whatever like that. And I just noticed like they'll smile for me, but then they'll downplay what they had going on, or they'll call me like big money or big shot. And it was just like, no, bro. Like, like yeah, I love the car. Yeah, I wanted it, but I was just like, it's just material. You know what I mean? Like it was like it was still things I wanted to achieve. It was still things I wanted to work on. And you know, what I'm saying I'm still at the warehouse, so. It was like I was grinding. I was trying to figure everything out. But I just like really noticed that people will do that. Like where you are now, somebody is praying to be. You know what I'm saying? Whether it be like your car. Somebody wants that car. Somebody wants that meal you have. Somebody wants that girlfriend you have or whatever. Like People want that stuff. And I just want to tell you guys, it's like you may downplay or it may get old to you after a few months. But you really have to understand that people are watching you know what I'm saying people really may feel a way like they really may feel sad about their situations it's not something you can control but you got to understand you can put yourself in their position and understand that when you want something different or when you don't have something that you're praying for that you're asking for think about it like man be grateful you know what i'm saying be grateful for you being able to wake up it's just simple things be grateful that people love you be grateful that you had an energy or you had a wisdom to complete your your goals or fight for what you believe in what you love and it's just like you know it, it's like because you live this life every day you get so comfortable with it but somebody is wishing to be in the same position you have you know what i mean it's uh it, and then too it's like a lot of times um, just living in America, just like it's just like you have so many privileges and things like that that you don't really understand until it's taken away. And it's just like I feel like a lot of people don't understand that till like it's too late or when it's gone. So just like understand that, you know, say love where you're at, love the process, love you working hard, love you um, fighting for what you believe in, what you love, because it's like it's going to be mean that much more to you when you get with what you're looking for, you know what I'm saying? When you get re when you reap the benefits of your labor, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna mean that much more to you. But I'm just telling you guys, like, don't you know what I'm saying? Don't feel bad about your circumstances, don't feel bad about your uh your position where you are now. Man, just because somebody is showing you 
their highlight reel, you know what I'm saying, of how their life is does not necessarily mean you want their life. And then I also want to do a video on this. It's like people will do anything for money. Like I've had countless encounters where people were just telling me like, they'll do this for money. They'll do this for money. They'll do this for money. They'll do that. And it doesn't matter who they hurt. It doesn't matter who they hurt in the process. It's like, they just want that one thing. They just want that thing so bad to where it's like nothing matters. You know what I mean? Like nothing is like important at that point, especially if they want it. So that's what I'm going to tell you guys is like, really understand what you have really appreciate what you have and work for it you know what i'm saying work for it because it's gonna make you love it that much more it's gonna make you fight that much harder bro and it's just like it's such a good feeling when you achieve it but just like you know what i'm saying just understand that you know we are all at different positions in life and that doesn't make you less of a person or does it make you greater of a person just because you're at a certain space and it's just like even for me too like sometimes i look at people with like a lot of subscribers or like you know, say a big community big family and everything like that but at the same time, it's like, that's great. But it's like, I love the guys that I have already. You know what I'm saying? I love the subscribers, the unique subscribers who see my journey. You know what I'm saying? Really see me go from like doing hair videos to doing like workout content or like body game videos. Like these people have grown with me. So it's like, it's kind of disrespect, disrespectful for me to not appreciate where I came from. You know what I'm saying? Or not appreciate the guys who literally watch my videos, put the time in and watch my videos supported me on my comments and like even just put the watch time in my videos and i just i just want i just want you guys to understand that because it's it's not to be taken lightly you know what i'm saying it's not to be taken lightly and you have to understand that you will achieve more but you won't achieve and to appreciate what you have and appreciate the people that you do have and appreciate the lessons that you go through you know what i mean because it's like i wasn't happy at the warehouse i damn sure wasn't happy at the warehouse but it taught me a lot of values with people and it taught me a lot of game with dealing with people that i could never get from any other place because you know what i'm saying the warehouse it gets crazy you know what i'm saying if you worked in, you know what i'm talking if you worked in a warehouse overnight so if you did if you you know what i'm talking about if you've been in that situation and it's just like only us we want the blue collar uh, only really the blue uh, only really the blue collar guys understand that but yeah man that's really what i want to talk to you guys about like really just don't don't envy you know what i'm saying or just appreciate where you're at not even just don't even think about somebody else just appreciate what you have now and appreciate the age you are now and appreciate your wisdom always work to get better but appreciate the wisdom you have now and appreciate you learning more you know what I'm saying? you're hungry to know more and learn more so that's the end of the video that's really what i want to talk to you guys that's on my heart and uh make sure you like the video if you like the video i'll see you in my next video i'm out <laughs>